I'm going to let go of all of the changes I made to this loop by cursoring up and then cursoring back down and this will come back to all the default settings that were stored within this particular uh, loop. Okay, we're going to learn a little bit about synth programming that will come in handy later on when we look at some of the synths uh, later on. I want to delete the second instance by selecting the second Dr. Rex, right clicking it and deleting uh, tracks and devices and now we're just left with this single one which we can concentrate on. Now in most of the instruments that we're going to be looking over they have similar controls within them and one of them are these filter and amp envelopes. In fact we're going to be looking at envelopes in general. We have two of them here and we can think of envelopes as shaping a characteristic, a sound characteristic over time. There are three main characteristics of sound that come up over and over again. Pitch, tone and volume. Let's take volume or amplitude. If I sang a note like this, uh, you could think of it as having a very short attack and a very short decay. Maybe a vocal like this uh, might rise and fall more slowly. The same thing could be said of a tone or filter. Maybe you had a vocal with where the, the filter, the wow wow, takes a time opening up. Wow. So just know that envelopes are, are a way that a characteristic of a sound, in those main three there, uh, pitch, tone, and uh, volume, change over time. Here's the filter envelope, or how the tone changes over time. And here's the amp envelope, or how the the amplitude or volume changes over time. Well, big deal you're probably saying. Let's actually make this interesting. What if we adjusted the decay of the amplitude or volume of these slices and check out what happens? Now they're just reduced to little blips. Very cool, huh? Maybe we could adjust the tone of these slices by dulling them down with a filter. That's it wide open. Or well, that's dulling that sound down, add a little resonance. This gets interesting when you start sweeping the filter. In fact, you could do this automatically with an LFO if you sent this LFO up to the filter, gave it an amount. <laughs> We're completely mangling this loop. Do you see how you can just completely mangle a loop? I actually won't discuss too much of the envelopes, filters and LFOs until we get into the synth part, but I would really recommend getting your feet wet in Dr. Rex just by playing around here. You can learn a lot about these controls within Dr. Rex and a technique I like to use is to bring up an unaltered version of the same loop and then you can mix back and forward uh, between them. I like to drop in another instance of Dr. Rex playing the same loop and then you can mix between them. That's the original one, here's the messed up one. If I was to solo this guy here, we can do some other interesting stuff here by setting the LFO to change the pitch or to sweep the pitch. 